All right, welcome back. Haven't done a video in a while, been kind of busy. Now in this video here, I think I'm gonna, I'll show you what I've been doing with this John Deere 755. Uh, we cleaned it up, getting ready to put it away. So, but uh, I've been working on the belly mower of the 755. Now it's gotten pretty cold. So today I wanna show you something else I just got. Come on outside. It's cold out. It might be a little windy out also. Well, here it is. This is my new old farm truck. It's a 1985 K20. Four-wheel drive, of course, K20. Uh, it drove it back from down by about 70 miles away down in Springfield, Illinois. Well, south of Springfield. And it drove really good. Brakes work good thing wrong is I got a small leak on the gas tank. Let me see how much fuel I've leaked since yesterday. Not much. This is a bucket I put underneath there where the leak was, but I'm going to have to change it. Well, I've been making a list of all the stuff I need. We'll check this out. See if I can get in there. It's got them helper springs on the back. It's a three quarter ton, of course. Spring. They could use some new tires, but it's rusty, of course. It's a Chevy and a buffer. But the bed's in pretty good shape here. I'll have to check it out. But now it's turned cold, and so it'll be a while before I can clean this thing up. I'd like to get me some nice old wagon wheels on there and new tires. Be a leveling kit that's a pretty good old farm truck i'll start her up here it took a little while for it to fire up gauge it was working but it uh it was empty i filled it up with fuel coming home about had three quarters of a tank of fuel then all of a sudden it went past fuel full there went down but like i said it's got a lot of little things i need to do Got a 350 cubic inch Chevy motor. It's got a few little oil leaks here and there. It's got a that little Brock carburetor. Idles good. I think I'm gonna get that exhaust fixed. Run it out more either towards the back here or out the front here. But got a little little things wrong with it well, I just noticed I got a lug nut missing too well hi buddy how you doing you like laying on top of the truck huh huh what is that you let me zoom out on you there you are buddy yeah you're a good kitty you can lay up here on the truck if you want to Good old farm cat, you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
working on the 755, the belly mower. Gonna paint it back up and fix it up, get it back installed. Just doing the old rattle can restoration with some, uh, here's some rusty metal primer. Okay, I got this gear puller set up and I'll pull that pulley off there. Takes a while. There it is. God damn it. I didn't say that. Want to show you something I just bought out of Tractor Supply. It's this high, easy pour, high flow replacement spout and vent kit. Okay, here it is all put together. It's got this half inch vent you add to it because uh, this is one of them ventless ones, the new style diesel tanks. Drill the half inch hole hole there. It's got a vent. Got this big seven eighths inch spout and this old thing here i can just throw it away I hated this thing junk and once again look who's sleeping what is that all you do around here is sleep huh hey buddy how you doing let me get a little close up on you so everybody can see you yeah a good old yawn there buddy yeah, you're a good old farm cat, aren't you? Yeah. Belly rub. Belly rub. All right. Go back to sleep. You're showing off now. Well, that's about it for this video. I haven't uh, uploaded anything in a while, but I plan on be doing some more things. I made out a list for the, uh, the old square body farm truck there. It's a Scotchdale. I don't know if I mentioned that. But uh, I'll be doing them from here for time to time here, I guess. But anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, go ahead and subscribe. Like it if you want to. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.